more Q and A's with you guys. Um, if you have questions for the Q and A, leave them in the comments down below. The best will be answered in videos. This one is from Instagram from Grand Rapids Voice Over. Please explain if there is an importance of phase rotation when maximizing waveforms for streaming. What I mean is, does fixing a symmetrical waveform before loudness normalization and applying a phase rotation can you maximize loudness when mastering for digital distribution? Okay, a, a little convoluted here, but. In short, what he's asking is, if we have an asymmetrical waveform, would that affect the potential for how loud my track can be? Yes and no. So first of all, we need to, we need to understand why we have an asymmetrical waveform. Asymmetrical waveforms are, for the most part, 99% of the cases are perfectly fine. Trombones are asymmetrical, certain scenes are asymmetrical, Baritone human voices can be asymmetrical. It's perfectly fine. I have a video about this. I, I made that video a long time ago, like years and years ago, about the difference between asymmetrical waveforms and DC offset. I've seen to this day, so many people confusing asymmetrical waveform, which is normal, for DC offset. Uh, an asymmetrical waveform of the, of the waveform is different from the bottom, right? Different. The when you have a DC offset problem, the 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 waveform is perfectly symmetrical, but it's not in the center. So if this is the waveform, it would be like this. It's not in the center, but it is symmetrical. That's the difference visually, how you can tell. And a symmetrical waveform is not a problem. If your entire mix, though is asymmetrical. Before we continue, if you enjoyed the videos, please subscribe and hit the notification button. And if you really wanna learn how to mix and master professionally, click the join button down here, become a Mixbus TV member, access the already big and always growing library of full mixing courses, start to finish, mastering courses on many different genres and a lot more. If you like the video, you wanna support the channel, either grab some merch or use the super thanks down here. Let's go back to the video. That can be an indication that there is something wrong in your chain because for the most part, mixes are not asymmetrical. Unless we are talking about experimental, crazy music, for the most part, any, any genre, the mixes is pretty darn symmetrical. So if you end up with a full mix that is asymmetrical, that could be an indication that there's something running in your chain. If you run hardware, it could be a problem in your analog chain. If you run plugins, it could be a problem, it could be it could be a problem with, you know, a processing that you apply. Because understand this, that if you have an, an asymmetrical element, an, a, like a trombone or a synth or a vocal, that it has an asymmetrical waveform inside a mix, that doesn't make the mix asymmetrical. Right? It will blend into it. And if you didn't have the chance to see it on your screen and you were working on tape, you would never know, okay? But of course, if your entire mix is asymmetrical and you go compressing or limiting, that could be a problem. Not necessarily is going to be. If there's nothing wrong in the chain and just a weird combination of sounds results in an, an asymmetrical waveform for the entire mix, which is so rare, it might not even be a problem, but it could be a problem when you start compressing and, uh, and limiting. Uh, rotating the phase of an entire mix is very risky. Very, very, very risky. It can be done and it can be the solution for it. Um, I would not suggest for anyone to do it if they don't know what they're doing because maybe to chase that half a dB that you're missing in loudness, you run the risk of destroying your mix. I wouldn't, unless you actually know what you're doing when you're when you're rotating phase on, on something like that, especially if you go doing it like individual channels, I wouldn't I wouldn't do it. Definitely assess why you end up with a asymmetrical waveform on the entire mix, because that's not normal, like it's not common. I hope this answered the question. If you guys have more questions, leave them in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Stay safe. See you next time.
play the role of an angel pretty well. But I can say you came straight.